between today and Thursday, nearly 55 million people are going to be hitting the roads, rails, or the airways to get to their Thanksgiving Day destination. This is expected to be the third busiest Thanksgiving for travel, and most people will be traveling by, you guessed it, car. AAA Northeast spokesperson Robert Sinclair joining us this morning with tips on the best tra travel times. Robert, good to see you. This is your Super Bowl. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Here Put we go. In, coach. Yeah. But, so, given the numbers <laughs> that we just mentioned, Robert, are we back to you know what's considered pre-pandemic, right? Pre-pandemic levels of travel. We are getting there. The total number of travelers, those traveling by car, those flying, and those using the other forms of transportation. That's a train a bus or a cruise ship, all those totals are 98 to 99% of pre-pandemic levels, and we're talking about 2019. So 2005 was the busiest Thanksgiving ever, 2019 second, and this year is gonna be the third highest. Wow, so there's like approximately 49 million people hitting the roads this Thanksgiving, so we always like to be reminded, what are some of the best times to leave so you don't get stuck in traffic? Well, the best time to leave would be Thanksgiving morning itself. Uh, go home Wednesday night and get a good night's sleep uh, because that's going to be the worst time. The commuters are mixing with the uh, travelers, the holiday travelers. And so uh, Wednesday afternoon is the worst. Early Thanksgiving morning, go home, get a good night's sleep, wake up about 6 a.m. or leave at 6 a.m. And even if your trip is 200 miles away, that takes about four hours, you'll get there at 10 o'clock and still have plenty of time to enjoy yourself. Yeah, I'll really. Right now. Yeah, or <laughs> leave yesterday. So what are the roads you know, that we're talking about in question here? Where can we expect the most traffic across New York, the usual suspects here? Yeah, well, the worst is going to be the Staten Island Expressway uh, between Borden Avenue and uh, the Verrazano Narrows Bridge, and that's on the eastbound direction. That's going to see a 158 percent increase in the amount of traffic. Then we're going to see the Belt Parkway in both directions from Cross Bay Boulevard to the Verrazano Narrows yeah, you Bridge. See it right there. Oh, the Belt. Yeah. It's already built there. Yep, Long Island Expressway between Borden Avenue and Pulaski Bridge to Little Neck Parkway. That's eastbound. And a Long Island Expressway westbound between Seaford Oyster Bay Expressway and Green Pernt Avenue. So, you know, just about all the roads in New York City mm -hmm. are really crowded all the time now. We see still that ridership levels on Metro North and New Jersey Transit and Long Island Railroad, and the subway is still lower. And when people are in a, on those trains, where are they? They're in their cars. Yeah, some people, though, they're going to take to the skies, right? An estimated 4.5 million Americans are going to be flying for Thanksgiving. So, do the airlines have enough staff though this time to pull off with pull off the travel time without major delays and cancellations like we saw over the summer well a lot of the airlines have eliminated unpopular and unprofitable routes mm -hmm. so they have more ground uh, flight crews uh, cabin crews and flight crews to be able to handle the flights that they do have so a okay. lot of delays have been eliminated a lot of cancellations have been eliminated they're still happening uh, largely due to the weather but uh, they should have sufficient personnel. Now, the flights that are left are full and they're expensive. We're seeing airline airfares about 22% higher oh, wow. than last year. So yeah, be prepared. And the best day to fly is also tomorrow morning. Oh, oh tomorrow sorry. morning. Thanksgiving morning. What day is it? It's Tuesday. But, you know, we've seen a lot of the issues with flights recently with cancellations. Mm -hmm. on the, so what do you think tomorrow? Like if you're, if you're saying, all right, I'm going to go tomorrow. I'll, hopefully I'll make it there in time. Are you, are you thinking there's going to be cancellations, pilot shortages, so on and so forth? No, we think it'll be okay. You know, the, the worst problem now has to do with the weather. And the tri-state region is responsible for 70% of all the air traffic control delays across the nation. We have five major airports, and because of the hub and spoke system, a lot of these airlines are interconnected. And, you know, New York catches, New York catches a cold, and the whole rest <laughs> of the country starts. <laughs> So it, it becomes a, a situation where you really have to watch the weather. Um, keep your airline's app on your phone, and that way you can be notified in real time if anything happens. Uh, have a backup plan in place and use carry-on luggage. That way if your flight is delayed or canceled, whatever, yeah. you, you have your bag with you. You don't have to try and track that down. Always a good idea. What about other forms of transportation that people tend to turn to at this time of year? The buses, trains, cruise ships, they're really popular this time of year. What are those trends kind of looking like right now? This, this really stunned me because the other category is up 22% compared mm. to last year. Wow. And the bulk of that increase is coming in cruising. Cruises are extremely popular now. Uh, they're sort of pay one price. You get the right plan, all your food and your drinks mm. are included. 
And cruise ships leave from most of the major ports on the East Coast, the Gulf Coast, and the West Coast. No traffic So you don't really either. have to. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So you drive to the port, which can be in Brooklyn and Manhattan and New Jersey. You ascend the gangplank. Somebody sticks a drink in your hand, and the party starts. <laughs> yeah. And you know exactly what you're going to pay. So it's very, very popular indeed. Yeah. So, you know, and then there's the big return home, right? The return home from yeah. Thanksgiving oh. dinner, which could also be just as hectic, right? So what are the dates and times that you should avoid? When's the best time to go? Sunday, 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 starting really at about noon, but really picking up at 3 p.m. and going on into the night, it's going to be very busy. You know, Ben Franklin said fish and company go bad after three days. Sunday, it'll be the third day. Get up early, get packed up, head home, and uh, avoid the traffic. Traffic can be aggravating. And please make sure your vehicle is, is prepared. We're expecting 411,000 breakdowns around what? the country. Flat tires, Ooh. dead batteries, people locking themselves out of the vehicle. And being stuck by the side of the road is more than an inconvenience. It can be dangerous. Mm -hmm. We're seeing first responders, police officers, firefighters, ambulance personnel, and tow truck drivers are being injured and killed when they're performing roadside stops, mm. helping people by the side of the road. So we have slow down, move over laws. You see the flashing lights, slow well below the speed limit. And if you can do so safely, change lanes. Be safe, please. Yeah, so again, leave early Thanksgiving leave early. morning and then Sunday morning before kickoff. Make sure you're yeah, on the well, road. Yeah. Home, right? Gotta love yeah. football on Thanksgiving morning. All right. Robert Sinclair, AAA, thanks so much for being with us this morning and helping us map out our Thanksgiving travel. And have Thank a happy you Thanksgiving. Thank very much for having me. Good to see you. Always.